Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, so in the last video we talked about uh, initializing variables, right? So we've talked about declaring variables and initializing variables. So far we are declaring variables on one line and initializing them on another line. So what we are doing right now is declaring a variable like let's say an integer, right? Basically an int and we are calling it, uh, you can give it any name. So I'm going to declare a variable called let's say number and I'm going to set it Oops, <laughs> I'm just going to declare a variable called number. Well, well, this is part of what, what I'm going to talk about today. I think I well, went ahead of myself. All right, so this is what we're doing so far. We've declared a variable this way, right? And we've moved on to the next next line. And we have initialized the variable. We've given it, or we've assigned it, or initialized it with, let's say, a number. I can say 5. We can go ahead and use a system.out.print ln statement to print out, sorry, the content of number. Let's try this. Compile this and then run it and it's displaying five. We have declared a variable of type int, stored an integer of five in the variable and we are displaying the content of number. This is variable declaration, right? We are declaring the variable and this is a variable initialization. Right? We are basically, uh, uh, we are assigning a value to the, to the variable. Now, you don't have to do this on two lines. You don't have to do this separately. There is a way, or there's a shortcut, to basically do both on one line. What we start off with declaring the variable int number, and we can initialize it this way, is equal to 5. We don't need this. The same thing as doing it on two lines. So basically, we can initialize the variable number, set it to 5. We are doing it on one line. You are, we are... In, we are declaring a variable and initializing it at the same time. So when I compile this, see it works, and when I run it, it still displays 5. Let's try another one. Let's create uh, f uh, f uh, a double, right? And I'm going to call it, um, um, let's say, mass, right? And I'm going to s initialize it. So I declared a variable mass and I'm initializing it to, let's say, 5.6. Yes, it's a double, right? So it can hold something like this. Terminate it, compile it. Well, first of all, I need to do, I need to display. Well, let let's 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 get used to using one print statement to do that. But we can certainly use two print statements. You know what? We we use one print statement in the other video, so let's just use two print statements. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> sometimes I get I, you know I really think about these things and I said I you know I make a decision and I go back to it. Anyway, let's let's stick with one one print statement. You can always use multiple print statements if you want. All right, so now we displayed um, number. Now let's display uh, mass. But l let's let's have a way of displaying it well. So I'm going to I'm going to start a string here, right, and say that the content of number is. And I'm going to concatenate the string to the content of number. So this is the very first one, which is what's stored in number, right? And I'm going to basically concatenate a new line character to, to move to the next line and then, and then create another string and say the content of mass is and I'm going to concatenate it with the content of mass here the variable the content of the variable mass compile this run it and now it says the content of number is 5 the content of mass is 5.6 and we can see that it's working so we can you can we can declare variables and initialize them on the same line we don't have to separate it right this, okay, this here is the same as the same as declaring a variable int number with a semicolon, and then also saying number is equal to five, like we saw, you know, in the very first beginning of this video. But we don't need this once we once we do everything on one line this way, okay, and this way. All right, so I just wanted you wanted to point you point it out to you, okay, um, instead of having multiple lines we can we can you know slim it down and have one line to you know to do stuff like this all right thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything to respond to them take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye